What's going on everybody? I wanted to make a quick video because I've seen a lot of people saying how I'm like motivational and inspiring people and everything I've done is so awesome and whatnot. And I feel that people don't realize their own potential. This took me a really, really long time to understand I didn't do anything special, all right? I really just didn't give up. I, I didn't stop learning. I didn't tell myself that I wasn't gonna make it. I didn't take no as an answer. And, you know, I kinda wanna give a little bit of background. And this video might just be me rambling. I'm just hoping if I am inspiring and motivating people, I want people to understand that anyone can do this. Here's a little bit of background and personal information on myself. I grew up without a father. I grew up pretty poor. I grew up with an immigrant mother. My first language was Spanish. I mostly spoke Spanish in my household until I went to school and that's where I learned English. Even though I'm American and was born in, in the States, I'm technically not a native English speaker and English is a second language for me. I grew up in a bad neighborhood and I got into a lot of trouble when I was younger and I got arrested when I was young a bunch of times and I won't go into too many details because I don't want anyone thinking any less of me, but I just want to kind of give people an idea of what my circumstances were. And then beyond that, once, once I got a little bit older, between the ages of, I don't know, 18 and 28, pretty much for 10 years, all I did was drink. And when I was younger, I did a lot of drugs and and I, I basically did nothing with my life. It took me a really long time to start doing anything with my life. And while I wasn't broke when I was in my 20s, although I did spend most of my money on nonsense, when I got a little bit older and I got together with my wife, you know, we, we decided to fix our credit and buy a house and we made some good decisions. But I was still just working dead-end jobs. I was working uh, customer service, and I mentioned it, that I parked cars at a strip club, and I, I worked at nightclubs parking cars, and I worked at restaurants on, in Las Vegas, and I, and I, I did a lot of just dead-end jobs, jobs that weren't going to get me anywhere. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I decided to learn how to code because my wife we had a baby and, and things, things got real. And I realized that although I had a decent job and I made okay money doing what I was doing, we were, we were accumulating a lot of debt and I had no potential future in the ex job experience that I had and the work experience that I had. The, you know, I didn't want to wait tables my whole life. I didn't want to be one of those 70 year old grumpy waiters. And if you've ever worked <laughs> in the restaurant industry, you'll know exactly the kind of people that I'm talking about that I'm not going to go off on a tangent about that, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do. But I decided to pick something and I stuck with it and I was consistent and I kept showing up every day. That's all I did. I, I, I'm, I can barely spell. I am a high school dropout. I dropped out at ninth grade. I have a GED, which I got when I was like 20 or 21 years old. I, I didn't even get it right away because I didn't need it until I was like, oh, maybe I, I should pick this up. And luckily I was able to get my GED, which I don't even know if it really helped me with any of my software jobs, but it's nice that I can at least say I have a GED. But I, I'm, I'm not special, I'm, I'm dumb. By, by most standards, I, I, I'm terrible at math, I have zero education, I, I was a hoodlum when I was growing up, I did a lot of drugs and alcohol in my younger years, and, and I, I, I'm, I shouldn't be anyone to be inspiring people, but it seems that I am, so I wanna use this platform to help people inspire themselves. Look at me. If I can do this, you can do this. I'm telling you this right now. When I was when I was a kid, I remember teachers would always tell you, you know, oh, you have so much potential. You know, there's so much you can do with your life. You can be anything you want to be, and you never listen to any of that stuff. I remember many teachers would tell me that, many adults would tell me that when I was in school and I was in elementary school and middle school and the circumstances that I grew up in, that stuff wasn't, wasn't in the game plan. Um, it wasn't something that was real to me because 
the way that I grew up and how my household was and just a lot of the stuff that, that I had to deal with as a child and as a juvenile. So then when I did get older, I, I just I just worked. That was really the only thing I ever had going for me. I was able to hold down a steady job. And finally, when the fire was lit under me and I faced the reality of having to provide for a family and having to figure something out to to better my life and make sure that my kids and my wife were better set up for their future and our future and start making investments and start thinking like an adult, I was 32. Up until then, all I did was play video games and you know smoke weed and drink beer and waste my life. Um, I don't even know where this video is going. I, 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 I decided that I needed to make a video to, to, to just help people. I have like 2,000 subscribers right now, which is pretty crazy. I never imagined that this many people were gonna watch my channel. I'd hope for it and I hope that I grow larger. And again, I'm approaching YouTube the same way I approached learning how to code. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it until I get bigger and better and, and maybe become successful at it. Will I? I don't know, but I'm gonna try my hardest and I'm not gonna stop. And that's pretty much all you need to do with anything in life. So if you're looking for motivation, if you're looking for inspiration, I'm glad that I'm providing it for you. I really, really am so happy that I can that I can do this, that I can share my story of how I became a self-taught programmer and how I turned my life around. And I really hope that many of you are able to do the same. And I really hope that you see me. And even if, if I rub you the wrong way and you watch my videos and you're like, man, if that guy can do it, why can't I? I'm glad. I, I want to motivate people and however they can to see their own potential because it took me so many years to see mine. So much time wasted. And you can't get time back. And that's something that I'm realizing now. I'm, I just turned 36 last week. I'm getting older. YouTube was something that I wanted to start and and I never thought that I would be talking to an audience of people, sharing my story about my life. And I'm gonna keep talking about learning how to code. I'm gonna keep talking about how I, I became a self-taught programmer. I'm gonna keep trying to help people. I'm gonna keep sharing resources that I used and tips and tricks that helped me along the way and things that helped motivate me. I, 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 I would do silly stuff to stay motivated when I was learning how to code. I, I remember watching those videos like, you gotta want it bad enough that you can't breathe and you gotta you gotta w want it as much as you want water and, and all those like <laughs> Les Brown videos and, and, and Tony Robbins and all these inspirational, motivational people and I, I, I don't wanna be one of those guys. I'm, I Trust me, I am not a role model. I, I'm glad that I have kind of become one for some people. I, I read some of the comments and, and they tug at my heartstrings. I, I mean it. You guys don't understand how much it means to me when I read comments and I, and I, and I see the nice things that people have to say. And I, I'm bound to get hate comments. I'm not going to let it bother me. It, it, it comes with the internet. There's always going to be trolls and keyboard warriors that are going to want to pick a fight with somebody on the internet or down talk someone on the internet. Trust me, you'll never hear me talk badly about people. It's not my style. I really want to uplift people. I want to help people see their own potential by showing them if some loser like me could do this, then they can too, because there's so many opportunities out there now. There's so many ways to make money. There's so many ways to learn things. I, I see a lot of young kids that have been commenting that they're, you know, 16 years old and learning how to code or they're in high school learning how to code or they're in their first year of computer science. If you're on that path, stay on that path, stay tunnel vision. You're young. There's going to be things that get in your way. You're going to have your heart broken. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to come in across problems that you're not going to understand how to solve and life is going to throw stuff at you in every direction. Just keep moving forward. Make smart investments. Believe in yourself and trust me that you'll get ahead in life. You'll be a lot further than I ever was at that age. And just keep moving in the right direction. If you're in your mid twenties and you're a gamer, loser, who has nothing going for him and works a shitty job at Walmart or wherever and you hate your life right now, you can change it. I, I feel so cheesy right now because I feel like I, I sound like one of those people I used to listen to, but, but I guess listening to that stuff long enough 
helped me understand that that much of the stuff they were saying is true. But if you don't do anything, if you don't keep working towards your goals, you have no one to blame but yourself if you don't get anywhere in life. You gotta make a choice if you're gonna better yourself, if it's gonna be through learning how to code, if it's gonna be through starting a YouTube channel, whatever. And if you're 30 and you have a family and things look grim and you have no experience in anything that seems lucrative, you have no experience with any profession that seems that you can make a career out of, I looked at becoming an AC tech. I looked at becoming a plumber. I looked at becoming an electrician. I would have became a garbage man. I. My focus was trying to make more money to support my family and I found coding and programming to be the thing that I wanted to pursue. At first it wasn't even that, it was networking and security and just anything to do with computers because I always enjoy computers and, and if you're on my channel you probably have a lot of those similar traits. And maybe if I'm channeling you directly, if, if you're listening to me and you feel a certain way about your life and you want to make that change and you find that you've been picking up coding and you put it down because other things get in your way, that's fine. Life is always going to get in your way. But as long as you keep making steps towards progress, as long as you try to stay consistent and as long as you start making goals and achieving them, eventually you'll get to where you want to be no matter how old you are, no matter what, what conditions you're living in right now. Just keep focusing on improving your life. You can do anything you want to do in life. Trust me. It took me so damn long to understand that and I wish I would have known that 10 years ago when I was 25. Now I'm, thir now I'm 36. And I'm hoping by the time I'm 40 that I'll be even closer to my long-term goals and I'm hoping by the time I'm 45, I'll look back at this time and say, damn, how stupid was I back then? Because I wanna keep improving and you should keep improving. And this has gone on way longer than I had planned it to. This is one of those videos where like, I, I, I feel like a cornball uh, releasing this, to be honest. I'm going to because I'm realizing now that that I can make an impact on some people's lives and I, I don't know, I'm just gonna try to be more real because I feel like some of my earlier stuff was just me trying to trying to make YouTube videos and not knowing what to do and trying to copy other YouTubers and trying to write scripts and this is all straight from the top of my head. I'm not, I'm, this isn't scripted, this was just something that I was like, I need to get this out there, I need to mention it to people, I need to, I need to send my message out to people. So if you're a younger person or if you're someone who's my age and you don't think that, that you have potential, trust me, you do, it, 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 it's there. With all that said, everyone who's been watching my videos, thanks for watching. I hope they've been helpful. I've hoped they've been motivational. I've hoped that they've been inspirational. But I really hope that you accomplish what you're setting out to and I hope that you stick with it. And if you need to join my Discord and ask me questions, I'm happy to answer questions whenever I have time. The more subscribers I have, the more comments I'm getting and the more questions I'm getting and it's hard to keep up. And if, if you get overlooked, believe me, I'm sorry, I'm trying. Again, I've only got like like 2,300 subscribers as of making this video, but my Discord has been a little busy. My comments have been pretty busy, but just know that that I want to respond and I will when I can, and I just wish the best for everyone out there. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found any value in it, just hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you wanna hear me talking about learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer, or you want some inspiration and motivation and stuff about life, I guess, because that seems to be what this video is about. All right, with all that said, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.